This video is going to be just a very quick tip about using symmetry on a model that may not be lined up at the origin of the grid. So if I hit the S key, I can set my symmetry to be the Z axis. Let's say, for example, if I wanted to copy all the scoping information on this side to the other side on the Z axis, but first thing you'll notice is that the symmetry plane is not centered on the object. How would I fix that? One way is to move the object to the center, but that's not always feasible. So an alternative is to bring up the symmetry panel, and instead of global space, we want to choose local space. The quickest way to apply this is typically by choosing pick from bounding box. So what it's going to do is 3D Coat is going to use the bounding box of this object and place the symmetry plane at the center of it. So let's again uh, click this tab and drag it and that usually will leave the symmetry panel in the viewport. So let's choose pick from bounding box and there you go. That's usually the quickest and easiest method of going about it, but there are times where that may not quite suffice. So for example, this one looks like it's a little bit off-center. It's actually not in terms of the bounding box because if I go to an orthographic view, let's say a top view, I can see that this model is really not all that symmetrically aligned. It's a little bit fatter on this end and a little more narrow on this end. So we have another option and that is the general case axis. This gives you two pick points. Um, another option, let's go back to local space first, is to pick where you want to place the center. Now before you do this, if you want a little bit more precision, what you can do is go to the view menu and enable the 2D grid as well as 2D grid snapping. Now I can right click here or I can use the widgets there, but let's right click and now I can left mouse click and drag this and line it up. If I want to scale, there we go, and just kind of eyeball it, or we could use the measure tool, either one. But I think that looks good for now, and I can right mouse click that to drop that gizmo. And now I can just pick wherever I think the symmetry plane should be. Okay, so with that 2D grid still up and with the snapping still enabled, as I was about to demonstrate, another option is the general case axis. This gives you two pick points. So you can pick the first point here with snapping. That sets the first point and then the second point. If I need additional rotation, I can modify that here. But now we can turn our 2D grid off and our snapping. And we have a customized symmetry plane where we didn't have to move the model to the origin of the grid. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.